Hey guys, welcome back to the Pulling Curls podcast. Today on episode 239, we are talking about having more fun at home. Let's untangle it. Hi, I'm Hillary, a serial overcomplicator. I'm also a nurse, mom to three, and the curly head behind Pulling Curls and the Pregnancy Nurse. This podcast aims to help us stop overcomplicating things and remember how much easier it is to keep things simple. Let's smooth out those snarls with Pregnancy and Parenting Untangled, the Pulling Curls podcast. This episode of the Pulling Curls podcast is sponsored by Family Routines. If you are looking to make the margins where you're able to have more fun at home like we're going to talk about in here, come join me in Family Routines where we're going to talk about different things that will help you have more time to have more fun at home. So when Disneyland reopened, I got a magic key and I went to Disneyland, I think maybe eight times in a year. And I had so many friends that were like so jealous about it, but I was looking at it like, I'm so tired of being here, (laughs) which sounds really conceited. I get that. Like most people I know would look at that experience and just think, I can't believe you got to do that. That looks like so much fun. But If you guys listen to when my dad was on the podcast, my dad's an economist and he's a big fan of the law of diminishing returns, right? So the more you have of something, the less joy you're getting out of it. And especially even though I had a magic key and even though I often can stay at hotels for a decreased rate because I write about them on my website, it still wasn't as fun as the money that I was putting in because no matter how you look at it, a Disney vacation is pretty expensive. Now, I still love to travel, but I just found that the joy I was getting out of Disneyland and honestly, most of my trips in general was decreasing the more that I did them. And I also noticed, if you listen to my weight loss episode, that was something that I really wanted to do. And I found that the more that I traveled, it really took me off my game of weight loss. And I wasn't like eating a ton when I was on vacation, but I think just because I was out of my norm, I wasn't going to be able to lose weight effectively if I was doing vacations frequently. I hope to change that at some point though, because I still love to travel. Doing it as frequently just wasn't working for me. But I was like, what am I going to do? I've been this Disneyland girl for so long. What am I going to do with my life? And so I really started to look at what I could do at home that could be fun, things I could look forward to that wouldn't put me off my weight loss game and still have things to look forward to, things to enjoy that weren't Disneyland, right? And I know a lot of you are looking at me and thinking, oh, I wish I could go to Disneyland every month. And But I wonder if more of you, if you went to Disneyland as frequently as I did at that time frame, if you would start to be like, oh, maybe this isn't as fun as I thought. I would like to do other things, right? Let me also say times and seasons for everything. I wasn't able to do anything like this until my kids were well into junior high, all of them. So, you know, two had moved out. One was, maybe one was in high school, one was in junior high, but I got to the point where I was able to do this. And there is a big part of my life that I was not able to do this for. And if you're in that season of life, this is going to help you out even more because there are things you can do week to week, day to day to have more fun at home. That doesn't include an expensive trip or just like a lot of stress because going on trips can be stressful to your life, right? Adding all that to your life. So I have made a goal to find fun things to do every week or so at my house. And that includes going to movies, comedy shows, finding concerts, theater. Our family loves musical theater. So we've booked some theater shows. And in my mind, you guys are going to think I'm insane. I was like, we should go to New York. I want to watch more Broadway, right? (laughs) Guys, there are theater shows here in the Phoenix, the eighth largest city in America that I can go to that don't involve me having to fly to New York. But somehow in my head, I was like, I love Broadway. I have to go to Broadway. No, you don't. You can go out to dinner. You can go to the show. It will be like a whole fun thing. And then you can sleep in your own bed and not have to deal with TSA. I think so often we're like, oh, I need to travel to have all this different kinds of fun when we really could focus on having fun at home. And maybe this is just me, but it was such a revelation to me that I wanted to make a podcast episode about it because I think we could have more fun, more enjoyment, more joy with things that are closer to home that don't require so much stress because a trip to New York is extremely stressful for me. Trying to book everything, TSA again, all those different things when staying closer to home is less stressful, but still really fun. Ultimately, I still do love to travel. I'm hoping to aim for, you know, two to four work trips a year. My 
big dream is to go and speak about pregnancy around the United States and paid speaking gigs to talk to pregnant moms about getting prepared for birth and the realities that they're going to face with birth and postpartum life. That's a big dream of mine, so I still want to do it. But also, I want to enjoy my time here at home with my family and things and my own bed. Guys, I love my own bed so much. I just want to be able to do it at home, too. So come join me on Instagram. Tell me how you have fun at home. What am I missing? What are some things that I could do closer to home that would be really fun? Again, pickleball. We try and play pickleball a few times a week. That I have found really fun. And again, sometimes we're like, oh, I don't have time to do pickleball. But somehow I have time to go to a three-day Disney trip? No. If you like recombobulate your life, you probably have time for that pickleball game. And you can still sleep in your own bed. Is anybody seeing that that maybe is a highlight for me is sleeping in my own bed? So thanks for joining me on this quick episode I hope this sparks some ideas for you guys I would love for you to tell me on Instagram what you thought of this post if you thought it was insane and that I am way too privileged to have gone to Disney so many times that it wasn't as fun then let me know that on Instagram as well stay tuned we have some great episodes coming up next week we are talking about miscarriage and motherhood and how that can affect your motherhood moving forward and then the week after that we are talking about the scarcity mindset of parenting and how that is affecting us so stay tuned thanks for joining us on the pulling curls podcast today if you like today's episode please consider reviewing sharing subscribing it really helps our podcast grow thank you Thank you.